Welcome uh, students, uh, we will be looking at integrated reporting now. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, so uh, what we've looked at is so far under sustainability, uh, the idea of uh, the different factors, the different additional aspects uh, out of the forum of uh, profit. But uh, what we've figured out or what the world has figured out uh, in terms of business reporting is that there should be some way to uh, report your performance, your financial performance and your ESG related performance, sustainability related performance, uh, in other words, in an integrated way, in a way that, that is combined. And uh, one, of the, one of the best proponents of, of uh, a framework to that is the integrated IIRC, the International Integrated Reporting Council. And they propose the method of integrated reporting and what it means is uh, it's it's highlighting the importance of looking at the financial performance and your sustainability performance in a in a combined way in a way that is integrated and how exactly does this happen uh, one of the best uh, or one of the tools that ir uses is the six types of capital and what they've do done is uh, you know triple bottom line reporting which i earlier touched very briefly so what they've done is they've combined the triple bottom line reporting aspect into the six capitals so here you go uh, there are six types of capital uh, identified under integrated reporting called natural capital, which is all the renewable and non-renewable resources you're extracting. Human capital, which is related to the people. Social capital, related to your brand name, relationships, social media, etc. Intellectual capital, your patents, your, you know, your intellectuals, your brand value, your tacit knowledge that you have. Manufactured capital, which is your buildings, your property, your assets, non-current assets, physical assets, all of that. And financial capital, that is the money, the funds, the debt and the equity, etc. So the, what you do is you're looking at, so traditionally what would happen is that you're only looking at financial capital and the utilization of financial capital. So it would be income and expense, right? It's, it's the profit statement, uh, P&L, uh, financial, uh, the, the balance sheet, etc. Now, what happens with integrated reporting is that you don't stop there. You also look at the all the other types of capital a business has, the manufactured capital, natural capital, social capital, intellectual capital, all of that. And you're looking at how are we managing this? From where are we getting it? How are we using it? And what's the outcome? How much are we wasting, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, broadly under the triple bottom line reporting framework, you have environmental, social, and economical. Under environmental, you have natural capital. Under social, you have human capital, social capital, and intellectual capital. And under economic, you have manufactured capital and financial capital. So essentially, if you're reporting all the six types of capital utility in, in your report, you're looking at the triple bottom line reporting framework that being automatically addressed in terms of environmental performance, social performance, and economic performance. Now, uh, who is doing this? This is, this is done by the management accountant. And uh, the management accountant is actually facing a tough challenge here because they have to think more broadly. They have to think both in uh, financial and non-financial terms, internal and external terms, um, monetary and non-monetary terms, etc. So they will expected to they will be expected to produce uh, performance reports and information that have a, a good balance of quant quantitative and qualitative information that links the past, present, and future performance, that considers the potential impact of relevant laws and regulations on performance, that provides an analysis of the opportunities and the risks that are present around the business, that considers how the different types of capital and the resources that are available or resources at your disposal should be best utilized and used and allocated, uh, and uh, they should provide information that is tailor-made to specific needs of uh, the stakeholders and the business units that are going to use uh, this. Um, okay, so what kind of benefits, what kind of benefits will you really have uh, in, in uh, you know, using this approach, using the six capital type approach in order to uh, address your performance? What will happen is that one, you can set up KPIs for each of the six capitals. So you're really measuring a wider triple bottom line view. You can develop further, those further, to show how the KPIs connect with uh, different aspects and different angles. Uh, and you can interact and, and, and you can also uh, develop interactions and interconnectedness and trends and show uh, how each of the, those are related, what kind of causality, uh, correlation exists between uh, different indicators. Um, and between uh, ideally the different types of capitals, if we use uh, 
um, if we waste more natural capital our financial capital is deteriorating and our social capital is deteriorating you know that kind of connections can be established you will have a um, greater level of transparency of internal communications and uh, the departments and the people will have will be able to appreciate the the implications of what they are doing in a better way in a wider way in a esg conscious way and together ultimately uh, all of this uh, should help the organization make better decisions and uh, create more and more value in the long term um okay so there we go that's uh, that's the discussion on ir uh, again um, you can go to the iirc.com website if you want to learn about integrated reporting in a more detailed manner it's something that's catching up in the in the business world and slowly uh, organizations who used to purely have uh, csr reports right corporate sustainability reports are now slowly uh, shifting to integrated reporting frameworks and on that note uh, we will be finishing this segment up uh, i will see you in the next video where we will be looking at environmental management accounting thank you